My name is Dr. Chris Parturi. I am an orthopedic spine surgeon here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Today I'd like to share a little bit of information and my insights onto SI joint pain. I like to refer to the SI joint as where your pelvis and your tailbone meet. Um, there's not a lot of motion there and for I think for a long time people have not thought of it as a source of uh, back pain. Um, we've had a, a company for the last uh, decade or so called SI Bone that has uh, pioneered the research in that field and has proven with uh, many peer-reviewed articles that it is in fact a source of back pain. When physicians don't consider this as a source of uh, pain, they treat the low back and not the right pain generator. Typically the causes of SI joint pain um, are inflammation, uh, degenerative, uh, and sometimes traumatic. The pain pattern associated with SI joint dysfunction is similar to sciatic pain. Pain in the buttock region, pain going down the leg, pain getting up from a sitting to a standing position. So I think the percentage of patients that are having true SI joint pain when they come into my office complaining of back and leg pain is probably about uh, anywhere between 30 to 40 percent. And typically after patients have had uh, lumbar fusion type surgery, um, it's a little higher, probably about 50 or 60 percent because unfortunately when you do fuse your spine to your tailbone, the, pr the joint tends to take more of the load and therefore it causes more degeneration there. Treatment of SI joint pain starts with obviously a firm diagnosis and that comes with a physical exam where we're putting the patient through some diagnostic tests. Most of my patients coming in with SI joint pain will simply point to that area where it's painful and that's a really good indicator. You want to obviously get some imaging studies to make sure that there is no uh, traumatic incidents causing uh, the pain there. And then finally, the, the most sensitive indicator is uh, an SI joint injection. We use an x-ray machine to make sure that the needle is placed in the right anatomic spot. Uh, and then we just simply insert a little bit of local anesthetic. The SI joint injection should give significant pain relief. Most of my patients, it's at least 70% or more. Once we've established the diagnosis of SI joint pain and you're determining whether surgery is something you want to consider, this is really a minimally invasive procedure pioneered by SI bone. We're talking about an inch and a half to two inch incision. It involves 3D triangular shaped implants that are placed over the SI joint. That allows for immediate stabilization. Patients typically can go back to desk work within a couple of weeks and manual labor type work within four to eight weeks. In terms of what I'm able to offer it's when it comes to pain relief, this is one of the more satisfying procedures I can perform. If you feel like SI joint pain could be a source of your pain that has been overlooked, please feel free to call my office at Spine Orthopedic Specialists. I'd be glad to talk to you about whether or not SI pain could be the source of your discomfort and uh, let you know my opinion. Thank you.